Welcome back. This will be a little comparison of the Flying Fish 1003 slide roll uh, with the Picket N4 slide roll. I think these two slide rolls are very comparable. Um, the Flying Fish slide roll probably pretty foreign to, to most slide roll fans. Um, unless you're really interested in high-end slide rolls, uh, the Picket N4 may be a little bit more familiar, but kind of a unique slide roll. I have a separate video on the N4. Um, okay, let's assume you're a little bit familiar with the N4, uh, or you've watched my other video. Uh, let's take a little tour of the Flying Fish 1003. Um, so this, some people say, is the most complex uh, slide roll to ever be mass-produced. I'm not sure if that's true, uh, but it has 34 scales, 17 scales on either side, um, not counting scales which are uh, double-indexed. So 17 actual scales on both sides. Um, a lot of the scales are back-to-back, -back, so it doesn't look quite as bad as it is um, using kind of this back-to-back -back scales everywhere, almost, on both sides. Um, it doesn't have the traditional scale names on it, so I'll translate uh, what the scale names mean here. Um, here I have the four log-log uh, scales for bases greater than 1, LL, uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And here I have LL, uh, O, 1, 2, and, uh, O, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so the eight, uh, pretty standard log-log scales, uh, that you see on high-end slide rolls. Um, okay, on this side I have the folded scales. These do have the regular names, C, D, uh, C, I, F, C, F, D, F. Um, basically your standard C and D scales and your standard folded scales. Um, this side has some interesting things. This uh, H0 scale, um, that's a P, uh, let's see, I think that's a P scale. That's a P scale. You can see it has the scale formulas on the side here. So 1 minus 0.1 Y squared, that's a standard P, P scale. But it has this H0 and H1, and you see its formula for those is 1 plus Y squared. And that's, um, that's a variation on the Pythagorean scale. You do see that on some other slide rolls, but I'm not sure you see slide rolls with two of them for two different ranges. Um, those can be, so where the P scale can be used, for example, to compute one leg of a right triangle from the other leg, the other two could compute the hypotenuse. So they can kind of substitute for the trigonometric scales in some cases. In other cases, you might just want to compute those sorts of expressions. Let's look at the other side. Um, you can see the cursor here is interesting. It's a single line, single line cursor, which I like. Um, however, you do have scale extensions, uh, fairly uh, moderate length scale extensions, not as long as some. On the other side, let's have a look. You have hyperbolic scales. You get an extra hyperbolic scale. You have the two hyperbolic sine scales, hyperbolic tangent. I believe this is a hyperbolic cosine scale here on the bottom, which is very rare. Um, on other slide rules, you would uh, take take the hyperbolic sine divide by hyperbolic tangent to get hyperbolic cosine, but here you can compute it directly on the uh, 1003. Um, you have a standard L scale here, log scale, uh, base 10. Then you have the regular trigonometric scales. Here, Here's an SRT scale, an S scale, and you have three T scales. You have T1 and T2. Uh, here's T1, here's T2. Then the third one down here, um, let's call it a T3 scale. It goes from where T2 ends up through angle 89.45. Uh, so that's a really cool, I think that's kind of a cool scale to have all three of those tangent scales. Um, interesting, you don't see that on many slide rolls. Um, you have here the square root scales, the two square root scales, SQ1, SQ2, and you have the three cube root scales. Now, the, this, is, this is why I really see this as kind of a, a competitor, not really a competitor since it wasn't sold in the U.S., uh, but a, uh, a slide roll in the spirit of the N4. So the N4 has um, the three cube root scales, uh, the two square root scales. Um, it has uh, log-log functionality and hyperbolic functionality. So in that sense, uh, the two slide rolls are the same. Uh, what are the differences? Well, uh, you have the little uh, the, the dual base features on the N4. Uh, you don't have that on the Flying Fish, but 
you don't need the DF over M and CF over M because the Flying Fish has the standard log log scales, uh, whereas the Picket does not. Uh, so you can watch my video on the Picket N4 for why I think they really need this DF over M scale uh, because they have their non-standard base 10 log log scales. Um, okay, but interestingly you have on both slide rolls all those log log scales on one side of the slide roll. Um, the picket obviously doesn't have as many scales, so what is it missing? It doesn't have that hyperbolic uh, cosine scale. It doesn't have the Pythagorean scales. Um, it doesn't have that T3 scale. Um, and one interesting thing is uh, on the flying fish, I don't see a DI scale. So that's an interesting omission on the flying fish slide roll. Um, this DI scale that you do have on the picket and is useful in some um, in some scenarios. Oh generally to shorten your solution in some scenarios. Um, now, let's talk about construction. The picket, of course, is the all-aluminum construction. Uh, if you like picket construction, you'll like the picket slide roll. Uh, the Flying Fish slide roll, all plastic, non-adjustable. Cursor is adjustable, um, but slide roll itself is not adjustable. Um, scales, I believe, are engraved. I'm not entirely certain how they put these scales on. Um, but you can see even on this slide roll, there are some places where the the ink seems to be wearing off um, a little prematurely. That, that that could be due to age, but also I think that this uh, plastic construction is not as high quality as, uh, say, a Hemi plastic slide roll. Uh, but uh, but in general, is is a nice construction. Uh, it's not a cheap slide roll construction. Um, the actual slide action is very easy. I would compare the plastic material. Uh, to something like a K&E, uh, the plastic material they use on their slide rolls, like the Desilon, feels a little bit lighter. I haven't weighed it, uh, but it kind of has that hard feel uh, that the K&E plastic has. So I'd compare it to that. Um, in general, the 1003 is a nice slide roll. It has uh, something of the deficiencies of the N4 in that it has the uh, cube root and square root scales, uh, but doesn't have A, B, or K scales. Uh, so you need to use uh, either your log-log scales or the square root or cube root scales for for powers, um, which which makes it a little makes it different. Some people aren't used to that. Um, okay, interestingly though, compared to the N4, it adds those Pythagorean scales. Um, so if you like those scales, uh, you might like this flying fish slide roll. These are a little bit hard to find, uh, but you see them come up occasionally uh, for sale on eBay uh, without too much difficulty. Um, let me know if you have any comments on the flying fish slide rolls. I, oh, let me just mention, I think these are made in Shanghai. Um, you can see it even says flying fish here on the logo and has an actual little flying fish picture. Um, let me know if you have any comments on the flying fish 1003, flying fish slide rolls in general, um, and have a great day.